Mammary glands electroconductivity, characteristics at various obstetric anamnesis. Mammary glands electroconductivity, in norm at women of different age groups depending on the quantity of birth in anamnesis, 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Mammary glands electroconductivity in norm, at women of different age groups depending on the quantity of birth in anamnesis. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. There is defined the valid decrease of the electroconductivity indices of mammary glands at all menstruating women, on both scan frequencies, at the absence of birth in anamnesis and increasing of electroconductivity, at presence of even one birth in comparison with an average electroconductivity in norm. As the decrease of electroconductivity, always confirm the presence of hyperplastical processes. It is possible to suppose that non-parous women are more likely to develop of hyperplastical mammary gland diseases. Mammary glands electroconductivity in norm at women of different age groups, depending on the lactation duration in anamnesis 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level mammary glands electroconductivity in norm, depending on the lactation duration in anamnesis, at women of different age groups 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. At menstruating, women electroconductivity is statistically validly less in comparison with average indices at the absence of lactation or at the short time lactation in all groups and statistically validly higher at lactation more than 12 months. The received data prove that disposition to development of hyperplastic processes in a mammary gland is more often expressed at women with the absence of the lactational period in anamnesis. Mammary glands electroconductivity in norm, at women of different age groups, depending on the quantity of abortions in anamnesis, 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, mammary glands electroconductivity in norm at women of different age groups, depending on the quantity of abortions in anamnesis, 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Plus or minus SD. Indices of electroconductivity are higher than the norm at women, who had three more abortion in anamnesis. It disproves a little, the suspicion of some authors affirming that a yellow body safe its function for a long time after interruption of pregnancy. This is accompanied by the progesterone secretion, which leads to suppression of production of hypophysis luteinizing hormone and increasing of follicle stimulating hormone production. As a result hyperestrogenia and proliferation of target organs, including the mammary gland tissue, is developed. Expressed proliferative changes would lead to decrease of electroconductivity indices, but such situation was not observed in the investigation. From the other side, changes of breast electroconductivity at women with the large quantity of abortions in anamnesis prove that mammary glands are sensitive to minimal changes of hormonal background. And even the short-term pregnancy accelerates involutive changes of glandular tissue and mammary glands in general.